Good evening, I am Tiro, and this is me demonstrating, trying to hook up this 8-bit dough Bluetooth dongle, with the dongle, anyways. And this is the only way I can get it to sync, so just to show you, no battery, so that is completely off. Oh, which way did it go? Alright, battery in. And for X input, pushing down the X, then the start button, and it is synced. I am pushing and holding the top until it's flashing. Okay, it's flashing. It's kind of hard to see with the light. And my computer has picked up the, oh, do you want to sync with this? Or do you want to pair? So I click yes. I wait. Hard to tell, but it's still flashing. Flashing, flashing, flashing. Still looking. <clears throat> Still looking, and now it is stopped. Uh, no flashing whatsoever. But if I go here and do refresh, nothing. Okay. Well, if I do add device and actually have the wizard up, that's just a television from downstairs. I go for the flashing again. Okay, well, start B. Okay, it's flashing too. It is now looking or doing the lights back and forth back and forth there it is next and it's trying to sync up still flashing sorry that the lighting is not too or as obvious i would like to be I'm trying to mimic the flashing with the mouse, if you can't tell. And what happened is it's going to time out. Let's say unsuccessful, repaired. And it has stopped. So no pairing response received, try again. If I try again, it just constantly loops. But if I go here, there's the device. If I go here, I believe if I do pairing, holding it down, why even bother try showing this? All right, All right. turned it on. Flashing. I do service refresh. And there it synced. So it's only when I add it through a wizard, fail, and get the this uh, device on. And then do a service refresh then I sync here with this it shows up now <clears throat> if 
to go to devices and printers, um, there's not, there's no controller for this. I would have to go to the game controller is under the dongle. And it's always Bluetooth HT device. Now if I've actually mapped this out. Oh wait, maybe I need to set this up. This is my preferred one. Properties. I've checked and mapped out all the buttons. In particular, the ones here. Uh, these buttons. Everything matches up with a three sixty controller. Everything matches up with a Logitech uh, F three ten. The only thing that's different is this eleventh button is the home menu and the other ones only have a z-axis while this one has a z-axis and rotation for the left and rights now if i were to load up a game that is specifically for a 360 If I load up a game on Steam that's explicitly for 360, it will not work. It will not be recognized, it's not recognized in Steam. Um, uh, I might speed this one up. Store. So there's games that are made explicitly with 360 compatibility, or 360 pad compatibility, and nothing is recognized at all. So here I am. I need to push A or B. Or this, yes. Wait, was that correct? Skip. I cannot skip. So, okay. So, Um, these are not the buttons to be mapped out, or they're very goofy and whatnot. Let's see, could I even aim up? Yeah, so L and R are mapped to start and select. Cannot use items, so it's sort of recognizing it, but not fully. Anyways. Uh, thank you. Hopefully I can get some solutions or confirmation that I'm doing things wrong or right in the Reddit. Thank you for your time. Sorry for the delay in the middle.